Right, welcome back to a brand new goal hanging video. And today, as you know, it's Huddersfield Town away midweek game, Wednesday night, the 2nd of February. And what do I think ahead of this one? Well, it's going to be a tough game. Huddersfield currently sits seventh in the championship, if I'm correct. It's going to be a really difficult game. They made some top signings on transfer deadline day, obviously. Derby, Luke Plange did move to Crystal Palace, but he's still on loan with us until the end of the season. So that leads me on to my score prediction. I think it's going to be a 1-1 draw today. I'd definitely take a point against a top side like Huddersfield this season. You know, they've been the underdogs and they've performed really well so far and they will be looking at playoffs come the end of the season. So I do think it's going to be a tough game. I did a preview with Brad Barbs before this game and he was saying Huddersfield always press hard in the first half and seem to concede in the second half. So that's why I'm going with the 1-1 draw. I think Huddersfield will score in the first half Derby, will score in the second half. I think Luke Plange will get the golf Derby, but hopefully I'm correct. But like I say, it's going to be a difficult game against the top Huddersfield side this season. If you are new around here, don't forget to subscribe. Also follow my social medias in the description. Let's get into it. I'm a bit rushed because at the minute I've just got a dash for my train. <laughs> Stearman was sent off for going over the ball, but um, I'm, I'm honestly baffled by that decision. We're down to 10 men, honestly baffled. I think it was a, a huge deflection from here, it looked like that anyway, but it looped over Ryan Allsop in the goal. Huddersfield have been all over us pretty much all game, but we've defended really well and limited them to pretty much zero chances. So it's unlucky that we've conceded that, but we've dealt with them really well, but with about 15 minutes to go now. Two nil Huddersfield. Uh, too much space outside the box. Allsop pulls off a decent save, but on the second ball and rebound, he puts it under the keeper. So I have just got back, and as you know, Huddersfield did beat us 2-0. 
Talking about that game, I think the big talking point from Derby County fans' point of view will be the Richard Stearman sending off after about three minutes. I personally didn't think it was a sending off. I've seen some replays. I still don't think it's a sending off. You know, I just I just don't think it's a red card at the end of the day. And it changed the game as soon as he was sent off. We were down to 10 men and it meant that we would have to defend even more. But I felt like we dealt with Huddersfield quite well. You know, we contained them up till the 75th minute and I thought that we limited them to pretty much one or two clear-cut chances, but not many at all. I think Dwayne Holmes had a good chance in the first half, but it was at a narrow angle and he put it wide. In that second half, though, I think when Sibley came off, that kind of changed the game. The tempo changed and Huddersfield gained a bit of momentum. And unfortunately, they capitalised on it through Dwayne Holmes. I think it was a, a deflected goal. I'll be honest, I've not seen a replay of the goal and it did look deflected from the away end. But it loops over Ryan Allsop and it's 1-0. And it's, it's not against the run of play because Huddersfield dominated possession. But I didn't feel like Huddersfield created a lot with their possession. I think Derby defended quite well with it. And then the second goal comes quickly. I think it was Jonathan Hogg. I'm not 100%. But he puts the ball away from a rebound after Ryan Allsop makes a de decent save. But Derby, I think I think we just we were too fatigued at the end of the game to come out and get anything from that game. But, but there we go. The early sending off changed the game, in my opinion. And we've got Hull at home next on Tuesday night, I do believe. And I don't think we should hold on to this result too much because I think, like I've said, the early sending off changed the game. It was pretty much out of our hands after that. But there we go. Huddersfield played some decent at football at times and you can definitely see why they're seventh and achieving so much this season so far. But you know, they've definitely got to finish their chances sooner because at the end of the day, I think if we had 11 men, it might have been a different outcome. But there we go. If you have enjoyed today's video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Follow my social media in the description. I'll see you in the next one.